Hello everyone, my name is Sinmer and we've got something new for you today. However, before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to tell you that nearly 70% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. If you're not subscribed, you could do me a huge favor by liking the video, commenting below, subscribing to the channel, and ringing that bell. It really helps with the channel and lets me know that you're liking what I'm making. Alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so there is that one. Sea civilized. So there's rich farmland. This one's also rich farmland. Those are in different locales. So I can't search by. I can't sort them by location, though. It's kind of unfortunate. They're just by themselves. Uh, that would be nice, but I like it would just get raided constantly. So we don't necessarily want to do that. We could just inhabit the Zuck. There's three planets on it. Let's see. That one's okay. That one's not so great. That one's good for mining. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? All right, so we're going to go, we're going to go to Juzak. That is going to make it so that the enemy can't just set up bases in Juzak, which is really nice for us. How many crew can we take? An extra three thousand, no problem. And we will need lots more heavy machinery, which we can just grab, no problem as well. All right, so we need three thousand extra crew. We can. Now we're going to need a lot of these, so we'll just take, say, 500. That should be fine. Let's drop that off. And let's make our way over to Duzuk. Well, actually, we can also make our way to... There, if we want to. Though it is just one planet by itself, and I don't like that. An ogre isn't particularly amazing either. So we can go and do Duzak. There is that system we just um, finished looking at a while ago that had like nine planets. Where was it? Is it up here? That's seven. Mazu, 14. Yeah, I think that was... I think that's what I'm thinking about. So, what is your story? Yeah, we have some stuff. Okay, we have some farmland over there. It's poor. There were some areas that just had a bunch of farmland uh, all together. It's going to be a dist. I think that's a, a like a passable way of knowing if they're in the same system. Silver and Morga. Common Organics, Poor Farmland. All right, that one's rich farmland. It's over in Yarishin. Hmm. Okay, we have some farmland in Tundra. So you typically want to have a lot of planets in the same place. I mean, yeah, a lot of planets, a lot of colonies in the same uh, system that will help to protect you. I think those are surrounding a black hole or something. Usually if they're surrounding a black, if they're surrounding a black hole, they might be uh, irradiated. I think there's a higher chance of that. All right, but we are slowly getting closer and closer to the to the center, to the core. All 
And we just want some farmland. Food is pretty much always profitable. Okay. Let's see, the classes, if I recall correctly, the higher the class, the, the better it is. So... That's pollution, okay. Let's just go by class, because that's gonna tell us where all the good stuff is. Bountiful bomb land. It's over there. Yeah, bounds for pretty much everything. So here we would do farming and mining. Both of which cost practically nothing and would result in a pretty much easy, easy money. And then we have all of these that we can do stuff like refining on. So there is that. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So, I mean, we can do six colonies. We'll have to upgrade all their military stuff so that they're nice and stable, but we can do them. Yeah, why not? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to do. We forgot to actually, like, lay in a course. <laughs> we are smart. SMRT. wasn't there. Dang it. Um, Zimund, maybe? Yeah, it was Zimund. Okay, so we're going down there. And is Zimund a... It's high. So, yeah, we don't want to do that one, though. Then... It'd be nice, but we would have to destroy those remnants. Okay, what about this? That one's by itself. That's right. Then we have all these other really nice ones. These fives. This one has just almost everything on it. Is it just by itself? No, there's, um, there's one other planet. So what does it have? It has farmland, ores, and then lots of other modifiers. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Four farmlands. That one's rich farmlands, and lots of things it can mine. What about here? One, two, three, four, five, six, as well, show on map. And let's see. Where is that one? It's over here. Doesn't seem to have a anything dangerous about it either. Yeah, that one's nice. We can go uh, pick up, say, an extra 6,000 crew. So we'll just take another 3,000. Put them there. We'll take another, you know, several hundred of these. So we know for sure that we have enough. I think we have enough supplies, so we're pretty good there. Let's take an extra thousand just to do it. Let's go to our fleets. Let's go to take, and we are going to want to take another Starliner. And this holds 250, this one holds 300, so. Okay, there we go. So we're going to need to drop off some ships, though. So we'll drop these guys off. 
That works. Okay. Very nice. And uh, well, let's let's go. All right, so we're over here now, and uh, we're setting up apartments. We're, apartments. we're setting up our colonies. We have mining and food, and then we're going to do uh, probably drugs. Uh, we should probably do Lucifer. Um, we could do mining over here, but we, we, I would like to do more drugs as well. Um, yes, personally, drugs. <laughs> Not really. Um, but, um, okay, we have that one. We have this one, which we want to turn into uh, drugs and fuel. Uh, I guess we could use more luciferium, uh, more mining, so we'd need more volatiles. Um, so we're going to name this instead drugs and fuel 4. It'll be mining fuel four, uh, 1. <clears throat> It'll be... Uh, Mother and something for. All right, so let's go over here. We have Katie's Lodic Church. They're angry at us again because their because their expedition failed. Too bad, so sad. Let's go with colonizing this one as well. This one will be. Oh wait. I want the organics, but I also want drugs. These drugs are profitable. Um, these drugs are profitable. Like, we can't look at anything right now, but um, e I think food sells for more, though. We don't have any organics, so yeah, we'll just leave it as is. And this guy. Okay, so this would be drugs and what? Probably drugs and industry. I'm guessing drugs and and uh, heavy machinery. So how many of those do we have? Drugs and supplies. Three. Okay, we have up to DS three. So this one will be DS four. Okay. So I'm going to put you on that one. You on this one. And you on that one. These guys will have pretty much no stability for a little bit. Because they don't even have the space port up. And they just have shortages of everything, which is pretty normal. We're just starting. And let's see. We're going to go colonize this one, that one, and that one. Okay. So, let's -a go. He doesn't have anything really either. No atmosphere, though. So, I think the fuel needs no atmosphere for optimal. So, we're going to go with drugs, fuel, and then probably four, I think, at this point. Alright, DF4. Okay, we're filling this out, so pretty soon we're gonna run into whether or not they have a uh whether or not they have a scaler here. A uh, scroller. Okay, so we have drugs and fuel four. We have DF2. We don't actually don't have a three, so let's change this to DF3. Okay, and now we want to head over here and grab that one. Alright. So, let's go check this guy out. Okay, he has extreme heat. That's good. Um, this one will be DS. We have two D... Um, 
We have two drugs and fuels, so let's go with this one. We'll call it DS5 for now. Okay, they do have a scroller now. That's nice. So DS5. DS4. Nice. And now lastly, this one down here. So with these we're gonna run we're going to want to rush hyper stability more than anything. So we're going to need and this one as well. It's cold instead, no atmosphere. So this one be will be DF five, I think. Drugs and fuel five. DF three I guess it'll be, this will be DF4 instead. DF4. Okay, it sounds good. So how, much, how many crew do we have? We have more than enough crew. We have more than enough supplies to go and just start doing stuff. We have plenty of heavy machinery. And we have this one now colonized. Very nice. All right, then. We might as well just go and explore that one, Mance, while we wait for these colonies to finish their spaceports. Once their spaceports are done, they'll probably be a bit happier. That should work for me. And oh, now it just automatically resets. So. Okay, well, they're still working on those. That's fine. We will leave them to do their thing. Because we don't want to add anything. and Because we want the patrol HQ to be the very first thing we add. So, that's going to be interesting. Let's jump in here and... Okay, good. And uh, MoFo is done. Let's go ahead and add the Patrol HQ first. Then when that is done, we will add Ground Defenses. When that is done, we'll add that. All right, well, that expedition is just doomed from the start, so. Let's go. No. Let's see. Patrol HQ. Ground defenses. There we go. Now we probably we will probably need to cancel some things. Yeah, we'll definitely need to cancel some things uh, before we get there. So let's cancel that. Let's cancel that. Those are fun. And that one's still working at it. Oh, no, we don't want to. Oh, performance over, yes. We want to do that, we just don't want to make another colony out. But let's go and keep doing all this stuff. So, the idea is that we can force their stability up with all of these structures. Well, HQ and Grand Fences. Nice. And okay, that's those two. We don't have anything over at Delta Wonder, so let's go check that out. Do a quick scan just in case there's anything out here. There isn't. So let's go. Excellent. So they are done. Patrol HQ ground defenses. Alright, sounds good. We might have to cancel some ground defenses so we can get the patrol HQ up on other things. We don't have anything there. Oh, there's, there's a research station that we couldn't uh, salvage because we didn't have what we needed. Okay, so we will definitely need to cancel some things. So ground defense is here. Ground defense is there. 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 And there to be able to get this going. 
Also, one, two, three, one, two, three, yep, we're fine. <clears throat> as soon as we can find another Alpha Core, we will slap that on one of these. And things should work out just fine. Now, let's keep going. To that research station. Hello. Alright, nothing we super need right now. Do we get anything new here? No, no. No, we don't. Nothing new over there yet. Anything here we haven't surveyed? Yes. Haven't surveyed him. Survey the other one, though. Okay, no ruins, that's fine. Let's go down here, and then that'll be it for this system. <clears throat> but alright, with those spaceports means now shipments are coming out to us. Ah, oh, ruins. Nah, no. If there's anything we needed, that's fine. Let's go ahead and transfer jump out of here and make our way over to Gamma Wanda. But for you guys, I'm going to go ahead and time skip. Okay, so we've gone, we've, gone, we've done some trading. We have the bare necessities building on these. On all of them now. Putting high including space stations and everything, those are just going to be, we need to force up their stability as fast as possible. And then once they are nice and stable and they have high commands and heavy batteries and superstar fortresses and all of them, then we can <laughs> start worrying about other things. Let's put hazard pay on all of them. But let's go hunt some pirates. So there are pirates here attacking the attacking the um, his Brazilians, the uh, Tritachion. So we're gonna close in, kill these guys, and see what we can do. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three and that should be good. So we have another. We have another one of these. So let's go ahead and kill these guys. Do our usual. And you guys, I want you to make your way up there. I'm going to jump into that guy. Be uh, supported by my pet afflictor. Turn that on. Let's go kill some people. So he's really in trouble if we get anywhere near him. Mainly because we can just shoot him forever. So we, we basically just blow through his dampener field and then kill him. Now on top of that, we're really good at shooting down fighters. So, especially when we turn on our, our special. Okay, so that's anti shield that's not really going to do much to us. And we can just go kill you. Die. Oh, they want to dance, do they? Well then, let us dance the dance of the... How's it feel, Mr. Kanks, knowing that you're kind of harmless? Ah, oh, yes. Alright, we got it. We took some damage, though, but who cares? Go kill the rest. Alright, let's full assaults. 
and just go take these guys down. That'll get us into neutrality with the with uh, Tritachion. My third corporate douchebags. All right, nice. Kill it. And down he goes. That should be everything. So let's go ahead and claim victory. Let's pursue them with um, this ship recovery. We don't want their ships, but we do just want to kill them. All right, very nice. So we're probably no longer at war with Tritachion. They're just inhospitable. Now, yeah, luckily, let's see how are how are our ships doing? We're pretty much good to go. Let's go say hello to this guy. Get back here. Second in command. And all with those. Do down as many as you can. Alright, sounds good. Now the other places they can jump in are over here, but they're gonna be getting annihilated over there, so not really a whole lot over there. So those ground defenses are getting finished. Orbital stations are starting up. You can search me, yes. Now go away. I'm here to kill pirates. A dude's gotta do what a dude's gotta do. So the other place to pray at, they're pretty massing over there. So let's go over there and do that. Kill as many of them as we can. Slaughter them to the last. And then later do lots of jobs for them and make friends. And then sell them all the drugs. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. We're back here now, so yeah, our market share is 46%. We want that to get a little bit higher. Hello, friends. It's time for you all to die. Okay, so we're going to have another bomber, so we're going to have that over there. So... Yeah, this should be fine. One of the mid battles. So, you watch. You too, watch him. But. Okay. You two, watch him. You two. You three, watch him. You two, watch him. You as well. You two, watch him. And, uh, well, he's got another Heron, so I want you to watch him, and I'm going to assume command of that one, as everyone does the whole switcheroo. Right, you go there, you go there, you go there, and Mr. Afflictor, I'm going to have you go check out that one. As... We make our way over here. Alright. Let's go take all these points. And uh, we're going to just head over here, and then we're going to push our way over here. And just kill everything. Alright, nice. Can I have him... Withdraw from all of that and head over to us. We should have no problem wiping these guys all out. Alright, the battle is joined. So we don't need to watch that anymore. So I want you to come over here. That's going to be one of the main focal points. Actually, I suppose I'll have you go there instead. Very nice. Let's take him out. Die. As we slowly capture all of this. Die.
Yeah, we got him. As they foolishly throw themselves at us. Let's get within range of all those uh, Vulcan cannons as well. And just take them down. Nice. We eradicated their eradicator. He is slowly getting torn apart by those Vulcan cannons. And down he goes. Excellent. So they are both pushing that way. Let's go ahead and push into them uh, this direction. As our ships do their best. I'm going to go after their carriers. Because why not? Alright, let's start checking on their their fighters. Alright. Just get that shield up. When he dies. That hurt. Let's continue clearing out their fighters. We don't seem to have lost anything, which is nice. He just signed his own death warrant, so, you know, good job. He showed us. I want you. You're dead. Who's left? Some poor guy back there? <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look like it. That's full of salt. Is there anything we can kill up here? Seems to be someone down there, though. So we're going to set ourselves to autopilot and just observe the slaughtering of this guy. The death of Monsieur, uh, Monsieur Kite. Let's have you handle it. Kill them. Excellent. Let's scavenge. Well, that would make a 6C30. So, can't quite do that. Where is this one, though? Take all that stuff. Now we're still repairing a little bit. Getting a little bit of money out of this, which is dollars. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Going to pursue them. Wait, we will harry their retreat. Then we will harry their retreat. We will carry their retreats. Carry their retreats. Uh, let's see. Let's hurry their retreat. <laughs> All their stuff is just destroyed. We'll uh, hurry their retreats. No, now they want to fight. Okay. Let's engage them. <laughs> uh, we're not going to need carriers for this. These things are all broken. Let's go ahead and jump into this one, I guess. All the, like, most of their ships have CR problems. Most of them are breaking constantly now.
Yeah, like, their stuff doesn't work. They all have, like, CR 1%. <laughs> Like, his engines don't even work. At least his CR isn't, you know, zero. He might hit us with some of those hammers, though. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, these uh, ships that the Modi probably won't even work, they have a CR 3. <laughs> the directions are just broken. <laughs> Tell that quick! Run! Run! Uh, oh no! Oh, oh, well, he made it. Well, colorist impressed. He made it out. <laughs> mm. Alright, well. We will, um... Eh, whatever. We'll hurry the retreat. And let's see. Hey, hey, our ship isn't... Uh, because of all these, the ship probably is recoverable. That's probably the only reason. <laughs> Alright, so... They're all dead. No, it's someone new coming in? Alright, let's leave. We have a little bit more money. Could make our way back to Penelope Star, do a bunch of trading. Wait, what? Ah, DR2 isn't military yet. Okay, so DR2. Oh yeah, that's right. We don't have You're still we're still working on that one. But yeah, we are... I am glad that this now has a scaler, because otherwise it would get to the bottom and then that would be it. You wouldn't be able to... You'd be able to make more colonies, but to change things, you'd have to go into, like, a config file or something somewhere and change them that way. But, um, yeah. Okay. That works for me. And that's with a lot of the stuff that we bought or trade. And we're at 5,000 money, so that's good. That means that uh, we at least make enough to take care of that stuff. Let's turn that off. And we're going to want to go to DS1. Alright, so... Off we go. We want to go trade, make some money. So we can get stability up with those other, with those other uh, things. Other colonies. And we have these two. Which we got before, but we didn't put on anything. We probably should do that, though. Okay. 5,000 of those, all of those, 5,000 of these, 250 of these, about 200 of those. And let's see where we're going to put the Synchro, Prawn Core, and the Biofactory Embryo. It increases light industry, so... Okay, we already have one there. And we need something that produces fuel. Your DS, your DS, your DF. You have no atmosphere, so we can head over to Drugs R Us DF1. So let's go over there. And pretty much everyone uses Light Industry, so we can just go take advantage of that. As our colony is essentially unassailable. 
Uh, at least this one is. Oh, is this habitable? Oh, it needs to be habitable for that. Gulche. Well, we have plenty of habitable places. Wait, it needs to be habitable? This one's not habitable. It's using it. Okay. Yeah, it's using that, and it's is a habitable. Oh, it is a habitable place. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So we need habitable. Now we're over there. So we can't put that on any on any of these. But we can put it on this one. Well, we'll put it on this one because this one isn't using, uh, isn't making drugs. This one is though. So that works for me. Also, how's our market share of fuel going now? We're at forty-eight <laughs> percent. Imagine if we were all making, if we were all making fuel. So consumers. Only deficits. Mm -hmm. Lots. Okay. So, I need to make some money. That's DF1. I want to go over to DS1. Which is effectively our capital. We're going to go over there. We're going to take out lots of trades. And we're going to... Try and get our hands on as much as we can. As much money as possible. So, Casadon! They want 3,000 of these. They usually are a somewhat lucrative option. We'll, max, well, no. we'll remax our fuel. Um, so, we don't need this Starliner anymore, so we're going to put it away. We don't really need those nebulae either, so we're going to put those away as well. And we need one more of these, and then the rest can be afflictors. That works. Let's go to refits. The afflictors are all fine. But you, we want to update. Alright. Oh, what is this? Disgusting. All right, let's move him over there. Okay, we are good. Let's repair our stuff. And what else does Calcedon want? It wants these guys. It wants 400 of them, so we will happily take them 400 marines. What else do they want? Calcedon wants... Uh... 300 of those. I mean, we're going over to Calcedon to make a lot of money, so we might as well just sell them whatever it is that they want. Since we are uh, felons that evade tax. <laughs> 400 of these. They don't want those. They don't want those. They don't want those either. Okay, so everything else they don't really want. So we will take all of that over to Calzadon. We'll leave all this here. Massive gold mine for anybody who wanted them. And let's go. What do you mean we're over fuel capacity? And whatever. We will be under fuel. We'll be under maximum capacity once we. by the time we get to Calzadon. So the transfers jump out of here and go do that. Alright. Oh, <laughs> now we're all only neutral. <laughs> After becoming best friends with them, we're just new we are just now neutral. We're killing lots of stuff for them. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that works. All right, let's sell all this on the black market. All right. What else do they want? Eh, not a good price. So we have all that now. That's good. We could go sell lots to Umbra. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sell them fuel as well. So, what can we get from Umbara? The Voltion wants those. Umbra wants 3,000 of those, so we can go rub some more. Also, let's hire all these guys, since they're dirt cheap. And then, 12, you know, good enough. Yeah. Now we'll go to Umbra and just get more people there. So we're going to go to Escaunia. We don't have anything illegal, so we don't really need to worry about that too much. And let's start going into our colonies. Who has the lowest stability? Yeah, they're all at least two, so that's good. We would have a problem because our colonies have a mismanagement penalty. Making that a military base is a little expensive. Making this heavy batteries is less expensive. And we need the stability. So that's going to help there. Let's let them do that. We'll let them finish building all those. And then once that is over, Penelope Star. Well, they're dead. <laughs> um, let's turn the transponder on because we are in. We're going near where they would be able to see us. Let's sell all this stuff to Umbra. Okay, that's fine. And then this one, we can sell you a bunch of that, make a bunch of money, hire all these guys for relatively cheap. Oh. Alright, now, let's transverse jump out of here and head back to Penelope's to, to uh, Deathly Solace 1. We'll find out how much spending money we actually have. Okay, we have 1,300 actual money. So let's repair our stuff. Drop that off. Let's take 5,000 of those. All of those, 5,000 of these. And 200 or so of these. Excellent. Are these luxury items? Goulon's willing to pay a lot for those. Let's screw those guys. All right, so we have a decent amount of money here. The big problem for us is going to be when this eventually gets raided. So, I'm going to start preparing for that eventuality already. <laughs> 20,000 credits. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're going to need to make more money. So, Kathleen Umbra. Pretty much everybody wants drugs. So we have 2,000, 3,200. 3,200 is pretty nice. To 3,000 and get 200. Right, so what does Kepadesh wants? Metals? Kepadesh wants metals. What else do they want? Panthers then want some crew. Ooh, Capitesh wants Marines, huh? But not for a good price. Uh, Goulon. They want these, but... Oh, and they're not, in, they're not hostile to us anymore. So we'll take a thousand of these over to Goulon. 
They also don't care about drugs, so that works. Let's see. Good long. They went 4,000 of these, huh? Let's do that. And we'll have to drop some of those off. But let's go over to... I guess Coulon, because we can drop all that off at Coulon. And they don't want any drugs. Kathleen is in his Brasil, so we'll need to go there at least. So, to Coulon, we go. Make some relatively large... Uh, sales and then that should work well for us but we're going to go ahead and time lapse this for you guys so you don't have to sit through all this stuff all right so what we did is we went and did all that trading we have these all upgrading to a military base on all of these now So once those are all those uh, will get built, that'll kick our stability up to three and then four. We can upgrade this, that'll make it five. Then we'll have to put hazard pay on everything. And just see what we can do. Once we get light industry on everything, which will be our first um, real improvement after we get to size two, we'll make everything free ports most likely. Or we can just do free ports and that once the high commands are all finished. And everything should become hyper stable very quickly. But with all of that, everything should be okay. We we need to pay for our withdrawals. Those will eventually take care of themselves, but it'll still take a while. Get 200 of those. We've got oh, enough fuel. Now we can just go out and explore some more. Find maybe stuff that uh, we would like to use. But there is a bounty in Moyasura. Yeah, it's also a bounty in, in uh, Tritachion. So we could go over there and get our faction up with Tritac. Take a commission with those douchebags and uh, <laughs> proceed to start trying to clean up their their problems that they created. I th that they created. <laughs> if we had their problems that led to the second AI war. And maybe the first. Okay, so what we want to do is we do not want to actually. the stop at any uh, yeah, we don't want to stop at any colony if we can avoid it because stopping at a colony means that we lose crew that's fine but crew is expensive let's go down here see if we can find more bloody pirates if we're lucky we will Okay, nothing so far. Let's go over here. Become BFFs with the pirates? No. And BFFs with, uh. Okay, good. Become best friends with Tritachion. Okay, they're not here, so they're probably just over there then. These are all finishing. That's good. I like that. The orbital stations grant them just a little bit more protection. But the military bases, uh, they'll be even better. It's like he's five, most of them are three, some are two. So it's definitely a situation where we can benefit quite nicely from all of that. We are basically needing to found those colonies under an iron fist. So, bit of a problem, I guess. If you uh, take umbrage with such that, with that. But it is what it is. Okay. 
Okay, so I tried to... Okay, but there's no one here. There are no... There are no pirates here. What is wrong with you people? Alright. Well, the church hates us, the hedge hates us, the path hates us, the Persian League kinda likes us. There's a pirate base over there. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. They're all defending for long. Okay, so one potential suggestion for the developer. This is this is something that's unique to this game. But when a new dialogue comes up, um, when a new dialogue comes up, like when you get uh, you know caught by an AI or something, uh, have the first tap be a have the first touch be refused, and the second touch be accepted. So like just ignore that the person I don't know, it, like it, it has to do with like a time frame, right? So uh, otherwise, you know, stuff like that can happen where <laughs> it's not a big deal. But uh something like that can happen where you take a faction hit because you want to use your sensors and you accidentally hit refuse the link. And it happened literally just as soon as you did it. So that's a bit problematic. That isn't unique to this game, by the way. It happens in Kenshi. It happens in... Oh, there's another one over there. It happens in Kenshi. It happens in this game. It happens in all kinds of... So, just something. Maybe there's a solution to that. Maybe there isn't. Maybe it just is what it is. And there is no real solution to it. Okay, thanks guys. I guess I'll uh, head over to Mayasura. <laughs> Where there's actually uh, a bounty. <laughs> yeah, jerks. Okay, so... Oh, there's four days on that one, eh? Well then. Let's see, call any threats. We got these dirty pathers over there. They want to pick a five list, so let's go kill those dirty pathers. That will at least give us something. Okay, that's nice. Okay, do you have four? So stability is three. They're slowly becoming more and more stable, which is good for us. Defenders will resist. That is good. They were in a black hole. Sounds about, about, sounds about right, Bathurst. Hey, let's go do something incredibly dangerous. <laughs> right, well, they're not around this one, so they're probably over there, maybe. I think we already fully surveyed this one. Let's go kill a, let's go kill some pathers. Our colonies 